you wondering whether you can use formulas in Smartsheet reports? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing exactly what you can and can't do. Now, if you want the simple and short answer to that question, no, you cannot use formulas in Smartsheet reports, but there is an effective and useful workaround which I'm going to show you right now. So what I've done is I've just created a brand new workspace just to store all of these documents, and it all starts from the initial data set. So for the purpose of this demo, I've just created a couple of columns and different car models, makes, prices, and mileage. So this is our data set that we're going to use. We're gonna run some formulas on. So what you need to do so let's say obviously you'd imagine this on your own on your own account but what you need to do in a nutshell is you need to create the formula in the source sheet so not directly in the report but in the data set sheet so i'm going to do that for you now just to show you how it works and this in this example i'm a a, a car dealer if you like um, and these are all the different car models and makes i have um, on my forecourt so one of the first things you need to do is decide where you want to put that formula. It could be a column on the side, or you could even put it at the top, actually. You could even make a kind of summary section at the top. But just for this demo, I'm going to do it in column, let's call it here. And I'm actually just going to call it formula, just so we could, just so I, just so I can show you how we're going to bring it in and just make it kind of clear. Um, I'll actually, I'm going to make this smaller, but I kind of want that there just for the gap. So let's say, I'm just thinking of a random example. Let's say I want to know how many cars I have um, that are over 5,000 miles, uh, that have done over 5,000 miles. So for that, I'm gonna need to count if. So obviously this is gonna depend what you need. You need to think about your formulas and how you want to summarize your data. Um, but let's say, yeah, I want all of the cars over 5,000 miles. So the range in this example would obviously be the mileage and we want anything over 5,000. So I will do that and close that off. So we have two cars in here that are over 5,000. Um, we have a 10,000 and we have a 7,500. Um, the way I set this up was obviously not to include 5,000 as well, but nevertheless, we have our formula in here. Save it all up, make sure you save. I'm gonna go back into my workspace and we're gonna go into the report. So I haven't set this report up yet. This is a brand new report from scratch. So. The first thing you need to do is obviously find your source data sheet, which as you can see is this one. I've got no other um, sheets in my account at the moment to get, make this nice and easy. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I recommend creating a workspace, just so you know exactly where to find it. Nevertheless, I've got this now, I've got it selected, hit next. Now you need to select what um, columns you want to pull in. So let's say we want the car make, uh, we want the so the primary is obviously gonna be the, um, what did I call it, the brand? I can't remember. Um, but it's essentially obviously the main the main style of, well, yeah, the, the, the brand of car. So we're gonna want this, we want to know the mileage, we want to pull in the price, and we want to pull in the formula. So press next, and then we don't want anything here. So we're just gonna apply it, and you'll see the formula has been brought in. So. I can't directly add it here, but you, you can see you can bring it in to the report. So if I go back now, of course, if I wanted to change that formula, then you do need to go back to the data set. So let's say I wanted this over 4,000 to include those 5,000 mile cars. We're gonna get four, hit save. Now, if I go back into that report, we're gonna have four. So the formula does work. It's just almost stored and kind of calculated in a different place, but that's really what you need to do. Um, and that's obviously very valuable when it comes to things like dashboards. So let's say we want to add a widget and we add a report, um, then we can just kind of have it in here and you'll get your kind of formula there. Of course, if you want to change that column heading, then all you need to do, let's just save this up. Um, obviously you'd wanna change the, the name report there, but all you'd essentially do is go into your data set and you would just change this column name. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this and do subscribe to my channel. And if you head over there, I've got over 65 videos at time of recording um, on all different aspects of Smartsheet and training. So if you're new to the to the tool, then I would suggest you head over there and watch some of those. Uh, and you can even hit the bell notification on my channel as well, and that will notify you of when I release videos like this. 
And if you want some more in-depth trading, I've, I'm due to release a smart seat training course in due, in due course. That's a bit of a tongue twister there. Um, but I'm going to re release that course. So if you head over to my website, link in the description, then you can sign up and you're going to get an ex you're going to lock in an exclusive discount of when I release that course, and you're going to be notified of when it goes live. So, with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.